Hey, Steve. Me and my boyfriend, we've been together for three years. It's a cute little love story, fairy tale. He's successful, I'm successful, I work at the bank. We're planning to get married very, very soon. We're talking about it, but here's a little twist. My parents doesn't want me to get married until I become a doctor and being successful. They think it's a bad luck to get married before you become successful. Well, let me ask you a question. Yeah. You said you were already successful. You work at the <laughs> bank. <laughs> yes. How you go from working at the bank to being a damn doctor? What? <laughs> I'm successful, I work at the bank. <laughs> My mom says I can't marry her till I go be a doctor. Yes, that's eight more damn years. <laughs> yeah, they say like, you know, it's a bad luck to get married before that. It's bad luck to it's get married bad before luck. you're successful. Become you before you become a doctor. Well, guess a lot of us done ran into a I lot of bad <laughs> luck. But... So hey, y'all. That's what's been wrong with our lives this whole damn time. We done messed around and got married before we was damn doctors. God, dog. Well, I, look, here's the deal. I don't think it's a formula for getting married. I know some really successful people who are both successful who get married and got a divorce. I know some people who had nothing, got married, built a life together, and been together 40 years. My mama and daddy got married. My father could not read or write. My mama taught my daddy how to read or write. My father was born in 1914. This ain't no far-fetched idea. So it wasn't, a, you know, he, my father was a sharecropper. He went to school to the third grade, then he had to make money, you know? So he, my mama taught my daddy how to read or write. He took care of her. My mama never drove a car in her life. My mama never worked a day in her life. My father took care of my mama for 64 years. <laughs> 64 years. They didn't have nothing. I got married the first time with nothing, got a divorce. Got married the second time with something, got a divorce. <laughs> I don't know what the hell to tell you. I done tried it in which way you can try. <laughs> you just gotta find somebody that's the right fit. You gotta find somebody that you can't live without. You gotta find somebody that you love more than the sun come up in the morning. You gotta find somebody who you love more than you love yourself. When you find that, that's who you ought to marry. That's all to it. After that, it ain't nothing. We'll be right back. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.